Hello F you Purdy, this is Sup This Destroyers, back again with yet another video. And today, not a review or anything like that, but in this video will be the first in my series of YouTube question and answer videos, so any of my fans or Star Wars fans in general can ask me questions and I'll answer them in this video. So I do have a few questions for this video, um from Daniel Schofield or 14 Mr. Das, and I will be listing the questions depending on the number of course that I of the number of questions that I read out I will list them underneath the in the description of the video so just to let you know that um, Daniel Schofield or 14 Mr. Das asks what is your favorite Clone Wars episode and why as a tricky one I do have to say that um, is a good question you know, before season four, I would have to say it would have been a no-brainer for me before season four. But season four, while it was a bit stuttering and had some bad episodes here and there, like Shadow Worry and the two droid episodes, for example, um, it still threw some amazing episodes out there. Um, landing at Point Rain would definitely have been my favorite, the best for me and favorite of mine for the first three seasons. Um, but there were several that really competed with that in season 4, Darkness and Umbara, which was a great start to arguably, for most people, the best deck that Clone Wars has given us. Um, Carnage of Krell, enough said really, I mean we got to finally see Krell in action, we'd been waiting for that all our clones v clones, which was a very touching scene. Waxer's death, um, and eventually... Dogma not being as much of a jerk as he had been all like and killing Krell, which just made me hate him even more to be honest, but yeah. Um, and there were some more episodes that were really good. Um, the Box, that was a really good one. And three of the season four finale, Massacre, amazing episodes. Um, Bounty, I finally got to see Denga, um, and Revenge, that was a great episode, and it's definitely special for being the first finale to end on a cliffhanger, if you know the more savage scene. So yeah, there have been some really good episodes, uh, easily for me, uh, of the f first three seasons, it was landing at Point Rain, hands down, um, but season four has challenged that, and really... I can't really name one favourite. I would have to go with four or five favourites, but... Uh, I would probably have to say Bounty. I don't consider that the best of my five favourites, but... You know, I just got to see Denga finally show up. It's what I've been waiting... I've been waiting, like, almost a year for that, since Filoni confirmed Dengo is showing up since San Diego Comic-Con the year before. So, I was... I had been waiting a while for that, and it was well worth the wait for me, Percy. Um, Amy said, asks, who's your least favourite Jedi? And that's another interesting question. Um, and there's a tricky one, again, to be honest with you. Um, at the movies, I would have to say I do not have a least favourite Jedi if you just consider the movies or the Star Wars saga as a whole. I wouldn't say I have a least favourite the Clone Wars only, though, if you scale it down to just that, I would have to go with Anakin Skywalker, to be honest with you. He's just so bad in the clothes. He's epic in the movies, and like I said before, I'd even take Jake Lloyd, Anakin, over the Clone Wars Anakin. It's not that Matt Lanter does a good job. Doesn't do a good job, I should say. Um, as Anakin, he does a great voice for him. The problem is the writing of Anakin, how they're portraying him, how much they're using him, everything but the voice is kind of the problem. And then, you know, you have those mods. I mean, one of the things that's so bad about Anakin and Clone Wars, as well as being overused and all, um, is the expressions they give him. There's so many f new ones and um, stupid ones, it's actually just. Unbelievable, I mean, how can you forget Anakin's no face in Auto of Mortis? Um, his jizzed one in Kin, that was the most recent amusing Anakin face. Um, you know, I don't really have a least favourite Jedi in the Star Wars as a whole, but if you're scared down to just the Clone Wars, then I just hate Anakin, really, because he's just overused, he's annoying, 
he's boring. You c there's nothing you can tell with Anakin and the Clone Wars that you we didn't really know from the movies. I mean, so what if he like starts force choking, you know, innocent people like that, a foreign bartender and friends and enemies? That's nothing new, really. I, I don't even care if you disagree with me on saying that's not new. We've seen him force choke people before. And innocent people, too. I mean, come on, Panmei and Madala, episode 3. She was pretty much innocent, wasn't she? So, yeah. yeah I'd have to go with Anakin as far as the cars goes, but as Star Wars as a whole, I don't think I have a least favourite, to be honest. Um, Just read out one more question. Um... Graham asks, how do you think Ahsoka should go out of the Clone Wars? Expand on your choice. Um, it's a good question to end on. And to be honest, I know Filoni has said there's going to be eight endings for us, eight possible endings. That's how much they currently have planned. Uh, just eight potential endings for her, at least. Um, I would scale it down to just two, really. I mean, death, which is kind of an obvious one, maybe, or, you know, getting off with Lux and they, like, go away together, away from the war and all that. Yeah. It would kind of be cool, I guess, to see Anakin Killer, you know, go dark side. Um, but what I think would be best, as far as Ahsoka dies, is Anakin has to witness her dying and there's nothing he can do to stop it. You know, they have to, like, write the story and the only writer I could trust to do this is Katie Lucas because she is easily the Clone Wars' best writer. And she's on, she would be the only one I could trust to come up with a story like this. Anakin is, like, there, but he's not in any position to prevent her dying, you know. Kind of like if you've read... Alex Ryder, Scorpio Rising, you know, he was helpless to prevent, you know, Jack Stab, right, his minder, you could say, dying, um, yeah, something like that, like, he was there, but there was nothing he could do to stop it, and, so that would be pretty intense, especially if they did something like that, Anakin being tortured, and the sucker thinks she knows what she's doing, and gain away, and all or something, I don't know, and, she's not because the enemies have it all planned out. I think if something like that and Anakin can't stop it and it's his fault really that they were in this mess in the first place and that would be pretty epic. And it would also explain, you know, Ahsoka hasn't really had a lot of story around her Well, maybe she has like a lot of point to the character so far. And what would really seal the point of the character in the close for me is if she dies and, you know, Anakin, you know, it helps him on his way to the dark side, if you know what I'm saying. You know, I think Ahsoka's death really could help that. I mean, Vinin and Ahsoka and maybe Rex as well is a good idea to the extent that, you know, if Anakin sees him die, it will really help him on the way to the dark side. I mean, because killing off other characters... Like, I don't know. Just won't really bolster his going to the dark side. But I think if Ahsoka and or Rex die, then that would really help Anakin's fall to the dark side make more sense or something like that. And that is all the questions for this video. If you have any more, if you, where do you ask, where one of the three who asked me these, or where do you haven't asked me a question before? Whether you weren't one of the ones who want and ask this, I'm feeling right now, and want to ask me a question, or if you want to ask me another question because you already did, then feel free to leave a comment below, and I will hopefully get into answering it as soon as possible. I have got more figure reviews coming soon. Hopefully, some good stuff, mainly older Clone Wars stuff for now, until I can receive some more stuff. So anyway, may the force be with you.